What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to do beautiful destinations let's go text effect and I made a tutorial on how to do their brush stroke effect and it got a lot of views and it was really popular so I decided to do the let's go part because a couple of you guys commented asking how to do that. So let's get started with the tutorial in After Effects and I'm also going to show you guys how you can easily link your text to Premiere Pro to easily get it into Premiere. So let's get started with the tutorial in After Effects. Okay, so this isn't the exact same font that Beautiful Destinations used, but it's really, really similar. So this font that I'm using is called the Keep Calm font. I'm just gonna create a new text and write down Let's Go. And then they like to spread out the text quite a bit so i'm just gonna slide that bar all the way out so it's kind of spread out like this okay so that's basically the whole text part now let's make the lines we're gonna go to the pen tool and we're gonna create a line right next to the l and so we're gonna press the pen tool once so we can create a point and then we're gonna hold on shift so that we can make a perfectly straight line and then point the pen tool a little bit further left so now it makes a nice straight line and then we're gonna go to our shape layer and press command d so we can duplicate it and then we're gonna press p for position and we're just gonna move it to the right side of the let's go and then i'm just gonna adjust the position of let's go a little bit so it's perfectly centered okay so now for the animation so we're gonna go to our top shape layer and we're gonna press the drop down and then we're gonna go to add and click on that arrow and then go to trim paths so now we're just gonna bring the drop down for the trim paths and then we're gonna keep start at a hundred percent and we're gonna press the keyframe button for that and then go a little bit forward and then bring that down to zero okay now let's press the drop down for a second layer so we're gonna go to add and press that arrow and put trim paths again And then for this one, we're going to keep end at zero and start at zero and press the keyframe button for start and then go to exactly where the other keyframe ended and match it up and then bring the start up to 100%. So now if you watch it back, it just has this line animation and you can spread out the keyframe so it goes a lot slower because that is way too fast for me right now. Okay, so now I'm going to press T for opacity for the let's go and bring that down to zero. And then press the keyframe button a little bit after where our line animations start. And then we're going to go a little bit forward and bring that up to 100. And now I'll just spread out all the keyframes so they go a lot slower. And I'm actually going to bring my first two keyframes with the shape layer and bring it a little bit after the opacity fade starts. Okay, so that's basically the whole effect. Now let's try to bring it into Premiere so easily. So this might not work for people with Premiere Pro older versions, but if you have CC 17 or 18, you can use Essential Graphics. And so I'm going to go to the window and pull out the Essential Graphics panel. And then I'm going to change the master uh, composition to the composition one, which is the one I just made. And then I'm going to change the name to Let's Go Animation. And then what you're going to need to do is go down to the let's go and the text and then drag the source text up into that box. So what this is, is that you can change whatever the text says in Premiere Pro after you export it. Okay, so now we can actually export it. So we're going to press export and then we're going to just save it first. And then now we'll just export it. And if we hop onto Premiere Pro and then we go to window and open up the essential graphics. I have a lot of essential graphics already here, but you just look for the let's go animation and bring it into your timeline. And there you have it. So yeah, I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.